Hi, James Gurney here at the New York Botanic Gardens. This summer, the theme is Dale Chihuly and his piece, Solder Citron, is behind me. It's a wonderful expression of uh, glass that looks like a solar flare with lots of tendrils. And I want to paint this in gouache because gouache will allow me to paint those thin forms and the highlights. So let's get started. I'm sitting at my sketch easel. The diffuser is over it, and there's some light and shadow on top of the diffuser, which makes the light on my work vary a little bit. But the light's pretty good, and I'm out of the traffic a little bit. Well, I start with pencil in order to try to get some of the main lines of the picture. Okay, I have white, cerulean blue, Prussian blue, brilliant violet, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow light, and perylene maroon. I'll probably add cad yellow deep there. Are you doing a time lapse of you painting the thing? Not time lapse on this one, no. This is just a straight uh, video. Oh, a real time video of doing the thing. Well, in, in bits, yeah. Don't worry, he's going to edit it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be boring to watch actually. The whole painting takes about three hours altogether. The light comes and goes from behind the clouds, which makes the light on the subject change quite a lot. But I'm basically on the shadow side of the glass object. And what I'm trying to think about now is how to get started with all those overlapping forms. I mean, there are thousands of individual tendrils of glass. And what I want to do is just paint that dark green background behind the left hand edge and the bottom edge. And then start to use some gouache opaquely to suggest some of those tendrils over that background once it's dry. But I'm worried that the whole effect is a little dull because you've got those greenish yellows in the piece and then greens behind. It's kind of green on green and I like those deep reds in some of the foliage in the distance. So if I surround this with deep cool reds instead of those greens, I think it'll make the yellow come off more brightly since it's a complementary color. So I mix up a color and since this is gouache, it'll cover over the green and I paint a little past all the edges of the tendrils and then come back and paint them again. Excuse me, can I take your pictures? Oh, okay, sure, that'd be you. fine. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. So I look at the characteristic shapes of all these different tendrils, and what also interests me are the people taking pictures, the Chihuly versus the paparazzi, as it were. I paint some of them in there, holding up their phones. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Almost like they're worshiping this strange alien god. Oh, thanks. Can I see yours too? Sure, thank you. Oh, I love it. Awesome, it's beautiful. Yeah, 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 sure. It's gorgeous. It's just I'm working in, uh, in opaque style. watercolor, which is uh, like watercolor, but you can get you can do light over dark, which is nice for those tendrils. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your. Oh, work you're very with welcome. Me. Sure. Yes. Rolling at 30 frames per second. Here we go, here goes the motor. Not very steady. Cut. <laughs> 